Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to ooh, tonight's match. I am one of your casters, Duke Card, joined tonight by... And hello, it's Calvrix again. So, um... Somehow, this past weekend, these teams already played. Yeah. They... So, both teams got invited to Natani um, LAN by PSU. Yeah, they did. It was the Nittany Invitational, if I recall. Uh, shout out to all of our uh, uh, PSU folks in the audience. Thank you so much for, you know, hosting all these schools. And uh, I hope they, they had fun over at the Nittany Invitational. And we are going to be getting started here on Clubhouse. If you're looking for information on what the map bans were, uh, ugh. Border, Oregon, Coastline, and Consulate were all banned. Uh, True. We are going to be getting going on into operator bands. I am predicting maybe a Ying ban? No, but RIT is actually going to ban. Hmm. So it was a bait. Hmm. <laughs> it was a big bait. Okay. And ban wise. Jackal. Okay. Jackal standard ban. On Clubhouse. Jackal gone as well. Looks like they're not going to be uh, letting RIT do any sort of uh, roam clear. Jaeger also gets taken away. That's good. Thing. Uh, that's going to... Hmm. That's going to make holding stuff like uh, cash a little bit diff more difficult. Just if they're able to spam Yings, and the Echo is also gonna get banned out. No clutching with the Yokai drone this time around. Looks like they're gonna rely on either ball cams or Maestro cams or just bulletproof cams on the walls if they want extra information besides the default cams. Starting right and, off. Oh, look at that! Bohoja bringing the Ying. Yeah, I think they probably should have taken his advice and banned the Ying, but it doesn't sound like they actually took it to heart. Unless they have something ready to counter that. Like, they've already seen it at the Natani Invitational. Possibly. So they must have something ready for it. But from what I know, uh, I think one or two team of. Uh, one or two players from RIT were not at the Nittany Invitational, including Quetzal, so it might be a completely different. The heck? Okay. It's chosen not to. It's choosing not to work. Your controller? Yeah. I'm not quite sure why it's. Oh. Oh, frack steam. Say, but nice. Mm hmm. And looks like we're gonna have to have a learning lesson what to do with the keyboard controls this time around because. Uh, apparently, I just suck today. Anyways. It's okay. It's not uncommon, but it's okay. Uh, mentality, getting all the hatches stock included. Try with some interesting cam placements. I just wish that Steam hadn't messed with my settings so I could actually properly. This is gonna make me this so much harder now. Apologies. Ooh, let's see there. if we can fix this after this map. Possibly. But oh, and Boja is gonna be very oh. bold there and try to already peek through that window. Not gonna find it though, as Shy, Jack, Shy is just trying to shoot, defend the window at the moment. It's gonna see where Boja is and is going to just choose not to engage at the moment. Meanwhile, Quetzal is fighting. I believe Amonti and another attacker, but Boho just gonna take out Shy. Redding is gonna take out Quetzal, and it's gonna be 3v5 or in the favor of GMU. GMU committing to clearing second floor, and it, and it pays off. Clearing two of RIT's roamers early on with two minutes extra in their pocket. Oh. Like mentality is gonna be over here watching for whoever's coming down Adam or, well, Blue Stairs, and not gonna be discouraged. The hold down here. Blue stock has just got open. Oh! And nice shot from Mentality onto Road. 
Unfortunately, behind the Monty. The good shot too, and now Redding is stuck here with little to no support except from Bohoja from the garage ladder. All the rest of the GMU is still moving ever forward, trying to stop them from being able to. Oh. Oh, but who just spots the lesion, but can't find his shots. Not gonna get it. He's watching for Bohuja. Still not gonna get it. No, Turtle is gonna get mentality in blue. It's gonna be down to just blue card and rocket to finish off GMU at some point, but it's 2v4. Bohuja is down. Is Bohuja down? Yep. That's one headshot from blue card. He's gonna go ahead and try to reload, but I want It's up two on two. With Bohoja being first aid. Pona pushing through memorial room. They are gonna get Bohoja up. And Redding is gonna try to push it down into church. Not too shabby. Now the king is gonna go to the wrong placement, and Bohoja is instead going to fire a bunch of rounds at Blue Card and instead get slain himself. Well, Rock is going to go ahead and go for the flank. And with 12 seconds left, they have to commit. And Rocket takes out Redding, Blue Kurt takes out Ponut. RT lost it to Romers early on, but still came back strong. Forcing GMU to be running out of time, actually, with 10 seconds left to even go for a plant. Yep, and again, apologies for the more, um... I wonder if I could use a GameCube controller. No, sorry. Um, I'm just going to keep using the keyboard because <laughs> I have the game Pico controller right there, but I don't. Anyways, um, we're moving on to next round. RIT did a good job of flipping that around by just holding their positions and waiting for them to, to catch the Monty off guard with, you know, um, I believe it was Rocket that came from behind and it took Rocket, out yeah. and distracted the Monty long enough for Blue Card to get shots off and down him leaving it down to just pwn from GMU. GMU did a good job roam clearing, however, that should be said. Like the early roam clears, it's committing the ying, ying grenades on bedroom. And it looks like they're going for a bedroom hold with possibly a bandit trick. Oh, why have I not actually used keyboard before? This is actually so much better. How do I the zoom? The only downside would be like, you're not typing in all chat. The only downside is that whenever you turn, it's just immediate 90 degrees. It's not like a smooth turn. Yeah, that is true. That's, that would be the only difference. I believe I've seen this defense from RAT before. They're putting a lot of resources into cash in order to force the other team to focus on trying to take their defenses yeah. down that way so that they have more time they can stall out for longer. Especially since how... Um, how much, how much easier it is to hold bedrooms with less time on the clock. I would expect a little peek hole from Cash through construction looking at one of the bedroom windows. Especially with the, all the 25 on the Maestro with powerful gun, with an ACOG especially. Redding going through pool tables, slowly clearing out the bar side. Like mentality is trying to stop the breach here, but it's gonna go down anyways, and instead we're gonna have to gonna have to contend with being under that hatch without Well, he's actually gonna hold that and not care. Small pixel peek onto the hatch on logistics. And Bohotra and Pona looking to commit to the gym? Looks like it. But it looks like they're just gonna try and ignore Oh, this is oh. looking like a interesting push here. I believe yep. Monty's in gym with the diffuser right now. I, he is planting right now. It is going to go off successful. and RET. And Bandit misses the C4. So that's one utility gone. Futzel. Oh, Futzel's oh, no. going to get someone, someone threw a C4. And Rocket is also going to go down to Ponut. Two off the board, but Shai is going to find Ponut. And refrag that 3v4. There's less than 30 seconds left. 
and a headshot onto Turtle from Shy. This is looking a little bit more and more like RIT is going to win this. If they can actually get to the Diffuser, that is. Meanwhile, Blue Card tries to take out Road, but instead he's going to find some bullets as Mentality is trying to defuse, as oh, Shy Mentality's is just trying to. He's convinced. He's winning to it. He did it! RIT oh, defuses no. it by distracting GMU with Shy Jackal just blocking off their view of who's defusing. Despite taking, what, three bullets there? Through the wall, the bullets don't do enough damage to down mentality. Great distraction on the gym window to buy time for the defuse. Especially when Bohoja was coming around the corner onto the window, expecting to get an easy kill onto the onto the defender on the diffuser, and instead was met with a hail of bullets to the to the eyes. He could not see through the bullets and see the defender diffusing. Indeed, it looks like Bo just dropping the Ying this time, bringing Capitol instead. Probably thinks Jimmy might need a little bit more value off of another operator. Perhaps. Hmm. And then Doc, six pick from a mute. Here. Let's take a look at the defenses. I, don't... I just want to know how to. Is it paid? Oh, I found him! I can zoom! <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like a learning experience <laughs> for me right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. How do I. Hmm. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out how I disabled the the cool tips on the bottom right now. The v there we go. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now this Learning looks experience. like a professional stream. This looks like a much more professional stream. P apologies. I didn't. For some reason, Steam just went and disabled all my. But. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at RIT's actual defense here. They didn't put they put a f some resources on uh, one of the doors down in garage. Which is interesting. One side but not the other, possibly so that they can contest the door at a later time. But right now they're just holding the up the top as uh, I believe Bohoja is now swapped over on to Happy Tau of all. Looking to invest some firebolts is oh. the bandit trick. I think they, okay. I think they surmised that Quetzal was gonna be bandit tricking, and Quetzal was instead gonna hear Bohoja Doesn't coming. Looks like oh, oh, Quetzal finds Bohoja with a nice headshot. Unfortunate, and that's gonna be the Quetzal's. Is that for his first kill? That is his first kill that's of the first match. Kill. <laughs> I think they're gonna try to go for. Plant here. They do in instead of a bandit oh, trick, we might see a Kai trick. Oh, and oh, Quetzal's gonna run away. Time, though. RIT has currently two sitting in garage, one on the CCTV stairs, and one inside the CCTV itself. And this is a drone, but it's, it's okay. Oh boy, it's Redding trying to find one of the defenders caught out of position and is gonna use that ping. Oh, to there try goes and find the ping! Him. Not oh, good no. enough as blue card gets picked up by Tonut. Just getting caught off guard. Getting caught right there. This pants down. And Quetzal's gonna get his second kill of the match, taking down Roadboy. Well, Rocket is going to narrowly avoid death by one one oh, point one as HP. mentality takes down Redding, and it's down to a 4v2. But they could Tonut has almost no HP. It's, it's basically almost Turtle versus the world. Turtle gets taken down and down. Pona goes down. And RIT takes round three. This is looking very different to how RIT played in the Nittany Nit Invitational. I wonder if it's because they have Quetzal back. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. At the moment, it's a full 3 0 for RIT. Um, just a quick uh, look at the stats. So, this was some uh, a fact relayed to me by RIT fans that. RIT has never lost Clubhouse. Huh. They have never lost Clubhouse, even in other leagues. Even when they don't have, you know, two of their main players, they haven't lost Clubhouse. Let me check through the invites. That's real quick and see if that's true. I have my checked. 
it's Which, either banned. I yeah, but then it's almost always banned. It's almost always Which banned. I guess, but they played it. When they play it, they win. They and win. It's almost like they have uh, strategies from their coach that they're actually using. Wow. Oh. Yeah. No. Um. I personally know the coach for RIT, and um, he's he's had me help him try to strat out what's what happens here. So that's why I more or less know the reason behind a lot of their strategies. But I don't think I've ever seen him do a special strategy for down here. It's just pretty stock on uh, how things are going on. They're probably going to be... Well, is not fully reinforced. Hopefully they're investing someone to do it. I think that they're actually opening up the floor from above so that they can... Yep, they're going to try to impact, impact trick. Right yep. Definitely. The rocket's just sitting there with two impact grenades in his hands. Until is going to be upstairs, possibly trying to catch people unaware. Going to do a little bit of a peak hole angle on to downstairs kitchen area. Hatch, I believe. Yep, the kitchen hatch so that he can see from be from below. And going to continue the roam. Well, Shy is going to be watching his back, but going to be very near somebody. Two of the GMU players. I'm trying to find who those are. It looks like Redding and Redding. Bro Boy. Shy is going to run away as he shoots the drone. Looks like he's going. they're going to try and bait them in to security using that. That's what's going to give Shy a way out. And yeah, tries to invest the C4 to drop down all the way into bar. They both got droned out, so they're not going to be able to hold here at all. Said they're just gonna choose to waste time and save the ops. One minute gone from the clock and not much action besides breaking softballs everywhere. Yeah, there isn't anybody here, so GMU is now losing a lot of time trying to find those roamers and not succeeding at it. Because those roamers aren't, you know, no longer roaming. Yep, mm. everybody's on site. Watching five, five anchor. And already down to half the time bank. Looks like GMU has finally chosen to go ahead and put... Oh, I thought that he was uh... going to be able to get uh, Quetzal off... Um, off guard, but no. Not actually doing that. No, blue card. He's That's a lesion. Mentality holding oil room again, utility. This does seem to be his stock position. Gonna hear the grenade roll, not gonna get damaged at all by it, and is going to rotate away from it. I believe he destroyed the Maestro Cam in blue. That is possible. Take a look at that. Yep, the blue Maestro Cam is down, and Pona is gonna get the kill on Mentality, starting us off. 40 seconds to go, and Church Hatch just opened. And Turtle drops a memorial. Oh, maybe a church tick? Possible at the moment. Blue card. Trying to hold here. Does hear somebody in Metro. He's gonna sh go for it, but Turtle is gonna cross him off. It's 3v5. 2v5, 1v5, and it's just Rocket now trying to hold this on his own. Can he do it? Can he clutch it? And he tries to, but does not manage to take the head off of Roboy. And oh, there's so many the angles he has to watch. Takes down Redding, but Ponut quickly with the refrag takes him down from the flank. It does seem like a much more well concerted effort from GMU to actually disarm the defense there. Although coming down to very low uh, time there, they still managed to take down most of RIT's defenses. Jim using what they have in their pockets as much as they can, opening more space with the thermite charges and forcing RIT to look at multiple angles at once. Poor... Who was it? Rocket? Rocket was the Kaid, yeah, I believe, last Yeah, round. Rocket was the Kaid. They they keep swapping off of the Maestro between, I think, Blue Card, Rocket, and... Oh yeah, just those two. Yeah, Rocket had to peek left and right. Uh, He tried peeking left Oh no, wait, right, yeah, the rocket tried peeking left, took down the Blackbeard, but on his right, through the rotation the hole. Yeah, got him. Thatcher got him. 
and it's unfortunate, but I don't think he had a chance of do of actually winning that out. It was a five v one, and they were all pretty much in the opposite side. Indeed. Very sure of where he was. So mentality dropped a legion this time. He like, brought a castle instead. I still believe that they're going to be going for the same cash hold, except this time they're going to be using the... No, they used castle last time to hold these windows. Exactly. I think they're just running the same thing. It worked last time. Uh, it didn't really oh, almost. work. Okay, so maybe... So at best, it cut off some angles from GMU. But they did open up those angles anyways. And then they had to resort to distracting GMU's remaining attackers uh, with Shy holding the window as they tried to defuse. Meanwhile, GMU just... What reminds me mm. is that they had a Nomad, but where were the Nomad charges? I think Robo actually died early that round as the plant went down, but... And right away, Redding is going to go in and try to find... Oh, lands a couple shots on Quetzal. Fortunately, he already knows that they're there. Sees the drone. Does not uh, manage to hit fire. Loading mag. Okay, for some beast charges like last time. Mentality, aggressive on logistics. Hutch. Stay close to me. Looks like Bohoja. Looks like the GMU is gonna try to go up the stairs, and Blue Kurt is going to deny them instead, as Pona is trying to ready the west wall. I believe Bohoja is looking to go through logistics and clear out construction. They're gonna manage to get it, and unfortunately Quetzal does get the trick off and tries to get his Artilla back. He does, an EMP gets wasted, meanwhile Redding is gonna manage to get through and Blue Card, is going, Blue Card and Quetzal are going to have to deal with Redding. A oh, is in the bottom of main stairs looking to peek next to the Monty. Quetzal is not gonna be able to trick this one and the wall is actually gonna be open. Meanwhile Blue Card is gonna be down to one health. I can't even see his health bar anymore. It's like one, one pixel. Guy is going to challenge whoever's on the stairs as Redding is still being very aggressive. Still in the bedroom hallway. The very tight defense right now with a uh, rocket on the other end trying to hold here and blue card just trying to stay alive. He's gonna see the Redding and Redding is just gonna hip fire him and push in. Redding's clearing out. Oh, takes down Shy. What's all Rocket end? looking at a long angle from Cash, but Plant's going down from Turtle. They can't stop it. Oh, Bohoja takes down Rocket and it's down to just Mentality and Quetzal. Bohoja spraying through construction looking for a shot. Mentality and is not going to oh, be any help right now. <gasps> he got oh. the leg melee! Oh. And he's gonna get crossed off from the bedroom. And, oh, oh, and no, he tries. But Bohoja takes down the last two members of RIT squad. Takes down Quetzal first, and then leveraging the fact that that gun has way too many bullets, turns to the office and takes down Mentality. Why reload when you can keep just just keep shooting? The magazine's just huge, massive, big chunks. Well, side swap coming through. Jimmy now on defense, RIT on attack. And it looks like Jimmy's opting for Church and Arsenal. The 3 2, it's the swap. Let's see what GMU has in store. A pulse. Possibly for a kitchen hatch? And the castle for basement? Yeah, that looks like a six pick. Does indeed, and I should actually be <laughs> showing people the ADR stats, <laughs> ADA stats, because those are pretty important. By the way, your UI is back for okay. Oh, it always comes back. There's no way to turn that off. <laughs> Unfortunately, but anyways, um, I haven't gone to reinforce. Yep, there they go. They're going for tunnel. 
And I wonder if they're going to be doing the impact trick as well. Because I feel like a lot of teams have moved off of trying to open up kitchen. Just in general. Yeah. Just because it's not worth the time anymore. The impact trick is just so easy to do. Like, once you, like, hear it go down. Or have a cam in there. I think I've seen more teams opt for a stock hatch opening or a molo hatch open. I think Redding is going to go for a little bit of a spawn peek here. Oh. Not like there's anybody nearby, though. Greedy, greedy. There's nobody... I I'm think lucky. he's waiting for somebody to come through, but I don't think he's going to see them. And Is this really not Redding outside? Redding saw evil eye. This yep. is not... That's... That's not right. No. Hey, Rocket. Looking to clear out second floor. And he finally leaves. Trying to find the roamer upstairs. There is no roamer upstairs. They're all downstairs. No it's five anchors. The guard is just going to take their time droning a little bit to make sure that nobody is out there. RIT entered the building with one minute left. Still drones going out for in bathroom and cash looking for any roamers, but they're all downstairs. I mean, they got to check. They, they got to check, but it's already almost half the clock. Them. I just hope that they don't. That nobody is able to do a late roam by rotating through them, but. Blue card's gonna oh, go for card. the outside tunnel. Okay. Alright. 30. RIT. Possibly setting up a crossfire from blue and dirt. They already Poss opened blue hatch. Possibly. Meanwhile, Pona is going to relate to his team where those attackers are. Hatch is going to start to get open. No! No, no impact, impact trick? I feel like that's a gross misjudgment not to try the impact trick at the very least. Redding is going to look upstairs trying to find some sort of attacker's head and oh. Rocket is going to find him instead! Sees another one, Rocket fires but does not hit his target at all. And blue card slowly moving through dirt. Oh, Rocket gonna take a swift shot to the buttocks, but not gonna take anything at all. That's oh, and Shy Ooh. tries to go to the wall, and Road Boy is ready for him. Very unfortunate as he tries to get. He almost gets taken down, and the Habana pushes him. Mentality goes down, but Rocket from above takes him, goes for the refrag. But Hoja takes on Quetzal. Turtle headshots blue card, and it's a one v three, and Rocket is left alone for this. He's gonna a call. Fast turn of events. One v three. Rocket goes in, and just by guessing where he would drop in the smoke, they shoot through and take him down. Actually, no, I don't think he needed to guess there. Oh, the slight smoke vision. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. What? All the kills came through the, like, the last... The last second. It came 20, down to a collapse from RAT. Seconds. It came down to a collapse from uh, RAT, and as they tried to collapse in onto the site, I'm not sure if they had the full view, uh, the full info of where people were. And I think Shy... Shai actually drew the short straw as he opened the wall as Rode was just watching it. Rode was just ready for it. Yeah, and there they... was no time to switch between guns. And Rode kept on getting frags after another. A frag on the Ash, another the Hibana, and, not, and the refrag came in late. GMU opting for uh, CCTV and Cash hold. Traditional, traditional. It's one of it's the strongest site on this map now. From the addition of Pretty construction much. next to it. Probably one of the best ones to hold. And it looks like they're reinforcing Being both? both of the garage walls. Did they reinforce the mean? construction wall? No, they did not. No, please don't forget that one. That's gonna be left vulnerable so far. I don't. Redding might be running for that one. No, he's. Wait. Ooh. 
Are you running for it? No, he's not. Uh, he's uh, actually uh, going uh, to the other window and try to spawn peek. Looking for a spawn peek. Oh, Redding, you're so greedy today. Really trying to go for... Very greedy. I don't think he's going to find anyone. Especially with his positioning right now. They're all on the roof. Not going to find anyone unless someone walks up on the balcony right in front of him. Elshai is already going to open up the hatch and drop down. Is, has somebody droned him in? I think they've droned the Maestro. He's going to go for it. Takes down Redding. That's a huge utility loss for GMU. On the construction wall, soft, they just noticed. And it looks like this is a pretty textbook approach so far by RAT. Taking the bedroom side of the of the floor and then moving in. I don't think yeah, nobody from uh, GMU is really roaming right now. They're all pretty much on site and RAT is just being allowed to set up to push in to the cash door, but I think this might be a bad idea right now as of considering how much they're holding it and it's gonna get opened up. Ohoja is looks gonna like, try to hold from the stairs. Ooh, it looks like the Yanks are ready for some candelas to be thrown in. All three ready and pings are going on turtle right behind the wall. That's a grenade down onto Bohoja and guys come on it's gotta oh oh there goes the candela and Turtle is going to be disarmed by being blinded completely as the wall in cash opens up and another Candela swoops in and they're trying to do something here but Butzel is going to try to hold the window here as Blue Card takes the first kill trying to fire wildly into security Until they're looking for the castle behind the bomb They do get the they do down the oh. castle Take him down, and it's a 5v2. It's down to just Bohoja and Roboy. Bohoja trying to hold construction entrance into cash. Land's starting to happen. Sees the Quetzal. Doesn't get the kill. Still trying. Pushes onto the diffuser. Takes down Shai. Kills him. And it's a 4v2. Bohoja takes down mentality and is going to push construction. Pushing construction as well. Quetzal's oh, the wrong headshot. Angle. And Blue Card takes down Bohoja with the refrag. Brought it down from a 4v2 to a 2v2. But in the end, that wasn't enough as that was as they tried as they got those two kills. They immediately were put into positions where they were prime for refragging. And that cost them the round. But Looks so like they're going back to CCTV and cash again. But so more like pretzel. Okay. Sure. Pretzel, pretzel. <clears throat> Being on to round eight, our advantage to RIT four to three. They just need to keep winning against these defenses, the, these um, attacks on GMU. They're choosing not to move off of the site, even though they could go somewhere else a little bit more favorable. Uh, Okay, I'm not gonna say more favorable. I just said that this mm. was the one one of the. This is the best site. This is the best as site of now for uh, like, defense. Until they can go back to basement, they this is the best site that they can hold. Unless they, you know, choose to do the same thing as RIT and do the bedroom hold with uh, just in general the same resources that RIT puts into true, that. True. But might be they wouldn't be comfortable with that as they haven't practiced that strategy. The only difference in the defense would be Redding off of the Maestro and the Cap Can. Sorry. Possibly just to slow down the Ying a little bit. Possibly. Looks like Turtle is going to be in charge of... They don't have a Kaid and a Bandit, so that I think that means Turtle is going to be left to having to hold there. I Turtle's been sitting on... Uh, in front of the CCTV wall, but the push that's been coming from the others that looks like Shy and the rest of RIT might be doing the exact same thing as last time. I'm trying to see. Okay. I wonder if Shy is gonna go below the bandit and try to take him that way. Because hmm. they didn't bring a Thatcher at all. 
Then that would be Shy's purpose. Oh, hang on. Looks like looks like the same push as last oh, time. Oh, Redding is here, ready for Shy to drop down. A nice hard-hitting PWM. And the sausage in his hands. And grenade goes out. And no bandit gets hit. Instead, they're gonna see some shots ring out as Road takes down Quetzal. Another frag is gonna go out. The rook gets spotted in the garage, but not really an angle to take him down yet. Alright, is gonna take down Turtle, and it's gonna be down to a 4v4, even again. Knowing that there's no more bandit, Shy is gonna have to run down to stock, get rid of the bandit charges, and then RIT should be able, be able to open this wall anytime. Just gonna be a lot of time wasted in having to set up for this now, and, and the fact that they've already used two grenades to try and get this. A lot of utility already gone. Down to half the clock again and looking for any late roamers down in the stock room and lounge. Oh, right there. Yep, He's gonna see the drone and goo down. This entire hall is just full of goos. They've managed to find the batteries. They've disarmed. No, no, not yet. From men mentalities, maybe? Oh, it's still battery. Oh, banded. Hi, what's up? What? Oh, and then we're finally gonna get the battery to go down. Okay, go. Forty seconds to go. First, Candela goes out. Card gets good, however as they have 30 seconds. They need to push now. Lucard gets the first kill onto Bohoja and then gets taken down by Redding from where? Oh, from below, coming below. back. And Redding knows somebody's at the CCTV balcony. And 15 seconds. From behind, he Redding takes some shots at him and is gonna try to get the C4 off, but Shy is gonna take him down. It's down to just Pona. Ona is gonna try to go for the wall bank, does not manage to get it, and is now getting called by <sighs> Dokebi. Sorry, Dokebi, he won't be around tonight. Clean execution from RIT coming through after the wall's been opened. Pretty good job there. Um, that means match point for RIT 5 3. Is it true? Can RIT. Does RIT only win at Clubhouse? Is GMU gonna let it slip? It's possible. Beho Beho's just been like, you better watch for my ying, and then blue card's like, no, watch for my ying. And it keeps, blue card's been ying, bringing ying three rounds in a row? Or mm -hmm. two? It's been two rounds in a row for RIT. If they can go for... Well, last time when they were defending, they got three rounds in a row. And then they lost two to GMU. Mm -hmm. It flipped. And then now can they get the three again? They just need the third here. They win Clubhouse. Easy. Easy peasy. And RIT, RIT wins Clubhouse. Then that would make sense. And Turtle well, swapping from Legion to Kaid. see what we can... Let's see if they bring out anything new, but I think that last time their defense was fine, so they're probably going to be employing the same reinforcements, reinforcement place, reinforced placements as before. Um, actually, they don't have a, uh, they don't have a, uh, breading on Maestro, Maestro like last time, and he's yeah, this they're time, just he's, not, he's not running out this time. They're just closing it. No, they're being safe about this, and instead are going to st stop themselves from uh, bomb peeking at all. Interesting. Not even gonna. Are you bringing only one set of hard breaches for Hibana pellets? Last time they brought a Thermite and a, and a Hibana. Possibly the case there. Oh my god! Whoa. Redding runs out and then gets immediately punished by mentality. Down goes Blue Card. A lot of. A cap can for a Ying? Oh god, that's scary. Please clip that. <laughs> Please clip that. I want to put that on our Twitter. Oh my god. 
running? What are oh. you doing? I think oh, Redding was figure, oh, figured, gone. I'm Cap Can, I put down all my utility, I'm done. And I have a shotgun, I'm going out. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, we thought, we thought Redding wasn't gonna go for it, but he did. Because he didn't have, you know, the Astro <laughs> ACOG this time around. <laughs> but we were completely wrong. That was a good, good watch. What is, what goes through the mind of a Redding? No, really. I'm actually pretty curious at this point. I mean, already one minute gone, two minutes to go for RIT to push this site. They've already managed to make good progress onto the site. They're practically there. They've got Rocket already facing them down in uh, blue. Just need them to keep going. Meanwhile, defense is, well, is going to hold the Montana Bay, or try to as Quetzal picks up Glass and tries to find who's shooting at Rocket. Is gonna go the Kaid from Jim Yasha made it more difficult for RT Tibana to oh. open up the hatches. They can't clear it. Someone's going down. They know someone's in dirt. You see, Quetzal sees them, does not manage to shoot them. Shy is down. Where is Mentality? Mentality needs to help here. Sees. Own up, but does not manage to get him. Shy is instead going to crawl away to safety. It's not looking good here. 45 seconds to go. Most of our ET squad is damaged at this point. And they just cannot get Pona. But they're going to be able to back off and get one of their own back up. As Rocket is going to keep the pull there. Well, Rocket's already pushed into Arsenal. Passing the pulse. This is a very aggressive here. Oh, Turtle's finally going to get mentality, and Road is going to take down Rocket as Pona defends against him. It's 1v2. Quetzal's down. Yep, down. RIT's extremely low. One's already down, and Shy's just one bar. Oh, Shy lands some shots on the Pona in Arsenal. There is not enough time. There is not enough time for Shy to do anything here. And he just misses getting shot at by the Rook. You know, I was expecting maybe Shy could die to a Capcom Trap as he entered and was a little bit worried. Apparently there was no Capcom Traps on that door. Did we see how many Capcom Traps Redding had? I don't think we did. I don't think we ever even confirmed whether or not he actually used any of them. We we assumed he used it and we were like, must have ran out after using it, but... Hmm. Yeah. Mystery, mystery. I I honestly think that he did a very good pick there. B trading a Capcan for a Ying. If RIT had the Ying, they would have been able to take the armory downstairs so easily. Definitely. Especially and with the fact that, you know, shooting so much at uh, the Monty, Rocket's Monty, that mm -hmm. gives them... Oh, what? And Sorry. Jimmy going Jim and Bedroom this time. First defense, first defense on that side for GMU. Sorry, asking a question. Okay, back. And Bahoja and Redding come just crawling around the floor, making some foot holes across special into gym. Checking that for... Oh! A lot of drop frames. The heck? Yeah, I'm actually... There's like intervals where I can't see, but it's fine. Okay, okay. Because you can't see and you'll, you'll be talking. I'll talk when I can see. Running, placing a Maestro Cam in gym. Game's not that well optimized. Ugh, anyways. <sighs> Moving on to match points still for RIT. 5-4. GMU. Coming back a little bit, but they're still in danger of losing the map. They're back upstairs onto the bedrooms. Interestingly enough, they are trying to hold over here, but they're... No, oh, they're going for a late reinforce, actually. Oh. Interestingly enough, I don't know if that's going to work now, 30 seconds into the round. Scanning. 
Try going for a slow logistics push once again. And droning on CC finds the reinforcements on, on cash. Should be expecting a similar hold as RIT did. Really not get it? Oh, there he goes. Mm. What? Hmm? Uh, okay, let's investigate that. That is very awkward. Oh. Um. I don't think he can actually get that. Oh, you can't shoot through that floor. Bitch. Nope, you can't. You can't shoot through that one. It's, it's oh, and good. the frag gets thrown out, and nothing. No kills go out, but Turtle does walk away a little bit wounded there. Well, at least the bandit charges are go gone for one thing. And Turtle's forced off of the wall. I'm gonna go for it and opens up the west wall. RIT's advantage to collapse onto site is getting increased by the second. Oh, Rocket's gonna take some damage here from Ponut. Let's hope try and come in for it. Refrag oh, in case it needs to happen. Out. Oh, they're gonna try to push him. Pona is probably gonna peek. Oh, and they're gonna get backed off. Redding and Shy. Shy. Redding takes out Shy, but Blue Card is quick with the refrag on him. Bro takes down Blue Card. This is looking good for GMU with 40 seconds left. Just need to hold here. Just a little bit longer. Get to the overtime. 30 seconds. Hustle pushing through garage, and IQ also in CC stairs. Oh no, no soft destruction from IQ. That's all trying to watch for anybody here. 13 seconds, they're gonna have to push now. Now it's now or never, mentality goes down to Turtle. Need to clutch this, otherwise they're not gonna be able to make it, but our GMU is going to go ahead and just not peek too much and let the attackers expose themselves as Rocket and Beto go down to Ohoja and the uh, road? Mm-hmm. Round 11 triggering overtime for these these two teams and RIT will be going back to defense for this round. We're gonna be seeing... Oh, just a reminder, we are overtime three, but whoever started attacking the map starts attacking in overtime, and then it's swap every round. So now it's going to get a little bit more hectic for the teams. Do it this way so that it's not as much of a coin flip on who uh, gets to win the overtime. Planned beforehand. All planned. All, All planned. good. One less ACOG for RIT to hold this with the lesion coming in from 6 pick. Same Interesting. They're gonna be going for that bedroom hold again. And Trusting it a lot. bringing the exact same line for this bedroom push. Graphics. Yeah. I have it pretty low. What's the 60 hertz I see over there? Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a 144. See? I don't have a 144. Uh, Yikes. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we get it. It's okay. Swapping mag. Just the GTX 1080. <laughs> That actually triggers me to get out. What? Saying it's just a GTX 1080? Just a GTX 1080? Just a GTX 1080! Get out. <laughs> Anyways, um... Overtime. First round mentality. Watching again the office hatch. Seeing if anybody's just gonna drop down. Get wrecked by him, but no. Nobody just yet. Mentality loves to hold that angle whenever the round starts for defense. He likes being very daring, possibly because they wouldn't usually dare for it. They did clear the- Rojimu has gone ahead and cleared the bottom basement.
giving Redding a little bit more freedom to push up the main stairs central hallway. He gets Goomine though. Quetzal already half HP. He, I think he tried to flank somebody or he was found out by a drone and had to run away. But thankfully he didn't get picked. Meanwhile, blue card is going to miss every shot on the SMG-11 onto a drone and get droned out instead. As mentality is also possibly going to get droned out. And it looks like Redding is just taking Men a lot of Mentality did damage. get droned out. But I don't think he noticed yet. And 130 on the clock. Trying to watch for Monty here. Might use the gas grenades on this to stop the push. Well, mentality still trying to hold the office. The name of the game is to stall. We're just going to go ahead and toss one Ying mine into it. And they're going to go for the same plant that they had last time. Quetzal's going to take some damage, fire some rounds, and try to make them a little bit more nervous. And writing is going to oh, get... Oh, that splash. Oh, but and he's... And mine. Blue card. Oh, oh, he's gonna get shot. Oh, <gasps> but it works! Oh, he just needs so to stop low. the Monty from pushing. 30, 40 seconds. And down goes he's the Monty. All the way the down defuser's here. down! The defuser's down next to Blue Card. All he needs to do now is cover it. Oh, Blue Card takes down Turtle! It's a 4v3. Road Boy comes around the corner, takes the defuser, and is heading into bedroom. No, wait, he doesn't have the defuser. Well, they need to get to the defuser. Honot has it. Mentality takes down Road Boy. Diffuse is going down from Thatcher and oh, looking for a couple of people to for. Ali whiffing the shots on Bohoja. It's down to just a 3v2 at the moment. Pona is still full of health. Bohoja will go down. That's all down to Pona to take this overtime round. Puzzle's gonna watch the window. Oh, the counter Pona. is going through. Oh, oh, he missed the, the freeze charge and then he's gonna get flanked by a rocket. And they're gonna be able to defuse, and RIT will win the first overtime round. A hectic push, I would say, from GMU. But a much more organized push from RIT to take the defuser back. Almost <laughs> <laughs> beaching shot. <laughs> oh. oh. Could have been a clip. It could have been a clip. Overtime match point for RIT 6-5. And Jimmy's going all the way down to basement, church and arsenal for defense. 6-5. Still RIT's game for now. But can Jimmy run it back? It's possible. I mean, they ran it back this far. Hmm. RIT bringing in a Blackbeard instead of IQ. I think RIT is done playing games. Push. I think RIT is fully... They want to win. They want to keep RIT wins Clubhouse. They want to keep it. Want to keep it. I think I think my computer just hates, um, hates Clubhouse. Apparently. Maybe too many assets. It is very well detailed. But it's a GTX 1080. Hmm. You do know that for destruction, it all goes onto the CPU, right? Hmm. I hope you have better CPU than my laptop, at least. Uh, no promises. Damn. No, uh, I, I should probably look at uh, the rendering um, stuff Four afterwards. Because it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Or Thanks. it's just your internet. It's fine. Could just be my internet. Who knows? It's Spectrum. Nobody. Um. Can he actually? We're looking get... for a double. Yes. Oh, I didn't know this. Interesting. If any part of the circle is touching, it counts. Well, with a Thatcher and RIT, this should be an easy oh. clear. Oh. And you can't shoot at that wall either. It's already too high up. Well, thankfully I they brought the Shy. Thatcher. Yep. So, that's gonna be- <gasps> Oh, wait a second. R oh, oh, he's waiting for it, Road. There's two in dirt. Turtles in dirt. Road is looking to back him up. I'm gonna go ahead and, and the drone comes through. They, they should be spawning Turtle here. 
fire and then run, run, run away. That's all. <gasps> Where? Oh, oh my. The run out onto balcony and then Bohoja is still gonna get caught out by Shy. <laughs> Getchen. Valiant effort worked out. Got the Blackbeard. Uh, getting the, going out alive. The, getting the Blackbeard was useful, but getting the Monty would have been so much better. Oh my lord. Oh, there's... Yeah, that's true for that one. Calls for Shy. You just needed everywhere today. Oh, you know. Who is that below the hatch? Road looking to impact trick? I think Redding's gonna push the Monty here. Nope, instead he's going to back off. Expecting an attacker to follow up as Pona is going to keep his team updated on where that Monty is. RT, 70 seconds on the clock. They still need to take control of either A or B here in order to be able to plant. Slowly push, making strides into pushing down central stairs. Also trying to get all of the Getting goo mines out. Getting the goo mines for our little Monty here. Not watching for the feet of the Monty. Oh, he looks for it. He's not gonna get it, I think. Sensor activated. He's trying to find him. Oh, I think he just missed the- <gasps> He just missed the Monty! No! Rocket is- in like Flynn! Doing that forever. Stay close. And he gets Oh, Blue Card is gonna start us off by taking down Turtle. As Rocket tries to push in, it gets met with a concussion grenade and a lot of Oh, and Road takes down Blue Card. It's a 3v3, it's even again, but Shy is going to take down Redding. Oh, there's it's... only 14 seconds left. But the plant and is going down. down. In Arsenal, I think. They're gonna shoot at Rocket, and or Shy is just gonna watch over here, what, waiting oh. for them to come around. Mentality is gonna take down Pona, and it's going to be down to just Roboy as Shy picks him off with the headshot from Central Stairs. Alright, he wins Clubhouse. Alright, he wins Clubhouse. And nothing has changed. No, it has not. They're asking for a break. Definitely, it, it should be a break. It's been almost max overtime rounds. Do you want a break? I need a water break. You need a water break? Okay, we'll be right back with the updated score, ladies and gentlemen.
All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And we, looks like the teams are very much ready to keep going. We are going to be heading into Villa. And just a reminder, do not refresh Twitch. Apparently, they are angry that Duke got more frames. Yeah, I went to the and store to get more frames. They said frame machine broke. I pointed to some like off in the corner. They didn't mind. They didn't see me take them, and now they're very angry. With they me. are mad. And if you leave, you can't come back because Twitch is being weird. So don't leave. And hmm, RT banning off Ying themselves on Villa. Oh, I actually need to update things. Uh, I just remembered. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. Because uh, I have to toss this info into the overlay. Alright, and then GMU banning Jackal. Jackal default ban against RIT. Shy Jackal and Blue Card both I'm use Jackal pretty much. Pretty sure they're just going to ban Jaeger again, GMU. No, Echo actually. No, Echo this time. They're going to take the option away from RIT, and instead RIT is going to get a free pick on. Well, free ban. Basically. Mm. Having a mm. little dispute? No, I, I, I... Hmm. If anything, I'd guess, like, either Ella or... Kaid? No! Oh, Rook. goodbye, Rook! Rook, no one's? Rook is no one's. What? Who does this? Who is... I've... What? I've seen people ban Doc, but what? not Rook. What kind of a monster bans the lovable, thickable Rook? He just brings pizza. Yeah, I'll just pass those plates around. <gasps> poor man. Poor guy. The poor well, guy. Off the map. That's um. That's also interesting because that's one operator with impacts that's just gone, overall. It's just a who does that kind of thing. Locally. I mean, it makes sense on Villa to get rid of an operator with uh, impact so that, well, okay. But there are so many other other operators with impacts too. They're going dining room kitchen first? Ooh, they must have something prepared for it. It must Hopefully. be like a pocket pick. Because that's a bit of an odd pick. I may be a little bit bold about it myself. The bandit was probably a little bit... I think the bandit was a junior. misdirection into making them think that they were going to be holding upstairs. Oh yeah, you were saying that. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Same thing. Same, same. 50-50. Let's take a look at how this defense is going to be laid out. Uh, Foja finally spotted them. They're yeah. like, hmm, this is not second floor. This is not game. This, this is... is not statuary. This is dining. Well, Jim, you setup it seems to indicate that they expected them to go for either Saturary or um, Aviator Game Room. And it's they're probably not, not ready. That this won't work out, but it's not the best you totally take a break for this site. I'm gonna hold up there as well as Blue Card is gonna go ahead and hold down Memorial. Along with uh, Laundry. Both mirrors placed in the same corner. That's, I mean, the mirror's corner for her. until she gets pushed over. Reading is Reading, already in library. Oh, living room now? In living room. Trying to see if there's any roamers nearby. Try to take them out. Not gonna see them though. Possibly gonna try to push into Memorial alone. There's nobody backing up Reading. Alone? Yeah, he's alone right One now. One man team. Oh, and Shy's going down. He does get droned out. Um, astronomy. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think Quetzal's backing him up. Indeed. Blitz is gonna get Time to ring some ears. heard downstairs. And both Quetzal and Shy are gonna have to contend with the fact that the bedroom is now open. Oh, and Quetzal just misses the head of somebody who was prone there. Oh, and he downs Ponut! Shy gets the frag on him, and Road takes gets the refrag onto Quetzal. Oh, Bohoja, oh. ready for the rotate, takes down Shy. Well, Redding is just going to oh, go ahead Redding. and try to... Pushing through? Yeah, he's trying to 
challenge the mirror here. It doesn't know where he is. He knows he's in the memorial, mm. but he doesn't know where the door is anymore. Oh, and now he's good. Uh, steps into a good mine. That was a bit of a blunder. Hmm. But we're gonna see. Loading new map. No, oh, the blitz is now attempting him one more time. He comes to dining. Gets fired down. Oh, and that hip fire Ooh. takes down blue card. Unfortunate here. And Redding tries to go for the kill on mentality, but he's ready for it as Road Boy takes gets the refrag. And Bohoja is shooting down into the kitchen as Road comes around the corner and domes Rocket, winning the first round for GMU. Look good for RAT on second floor getting Pona down. And Bohoja got two kills to refrag. No more kitchen, going back up second floor, aviator and games. I think they tried to t throw them off their trail. Worked, kind of, but... Almost worked, but the round still goes to GMU. Almost. I think, well, they're not coming back, but that's okay. It happens. Um, RET is known to just pick odd sites and see if they can win them. If not, they take it. They take the loss and they move on. They're known for being a hardy team, honestly. Moving on into round two, RET going to Aviator Games, which, like we said earlier, is the more uh, is the more common site that you usually take for this. enough uh they're not bringing a mirror though interesting which is interesting and instead it looks like they're going up. i'm checking if okay Close just me up. um <clears throat> just one second all right i was just checking if connection to make sure that I wasn't suddenly talking to myself and the stream had died because <laughs> that tends to happen to Spectrum way too much. But anyways, uh, RT's defense seems to be focusing around uh, shutting out GMU from opening up any of the walls in the 90 hallway as well as holding uh, the vault. They're shutting out the entirety of the study as well. I wouldn't be surprised if, yep, Redding is already inside with Road and Bohoja clearing the basement to, trying to find any of the roamers downstairs, but there's nobody there. <gasps> Wait, but Quetzal? Quetzal hears him? And he takes down Redding. 5v4. RIT starts off with a silent bang. Very silent. And... It goes to RIT. And down goes Turtle as well. Quetzal picking up another one. Road qu quick on his tail at the moment. And he gets rounded off. 4v3. But Shy is nearby waiting to get the refrag perhaps. Oh, does shoot onto Road. Does not get the kill. But does make a good case for maybe not challenging him again. Trying to see if he's getting pursued or not. Possibly not. Oh, Bohoja is going to watch for somebody near him. I'm not quite sure what GMU is doing right now. They are very split apart. And are, are they split up and looking for clues? Bohoja is going to go ahead and open up below. Try to find anybody just sitting waiting to trick. Although they don't have... Hard breacher anymore. You know, on road, is going to get good. Hoja and Ponut meet up near 90. Trying to push it down. Anybody watching that door mentality is going to be waiting for somebody to push down onto him as Ponut tries to take control of 90 along with road. Hoja's going to watch, walk, look in. And the headshot from Mentality, 4v2. RIT has the advantage. 0-1, round two, going all right for RIT so far. Mentality is aware that Zofia is around the corner, but no, Road is going to back off. 
Road is going to try and get him. Going to get a little bit impacted there. That's okay. Still here. Still active. Ready to push there. Mentelli is going to be ready. And gets the headshot on Roboy as well. Well, Pona is trying to... 12 seconds left. 4v1. Pona needs to take down Blue Card. And still needs to take get into the site, but Shy finishes him off, winning round two for RIT. Anyways, moving on to round three. Very decisive defense there from RIT. Doing a good job of shutting out GMU and mentality just holding that couch like a like a pro, getting headshot after headshot and covering his side of the map. At the same time, Queto getting two frags, two roaming frags as Cavera allowed them to just overall gain supremacy over that site. Despite getting refragged, it still worked out in the end. Dude, quick, quick question. Was I muted? Yes. But last round? God damn. Oh. Yikes. Things happen. Feels bad. Yep. You were confused as to why I was talking over you. That's probably why. Yeah, I was like, hmm, something's not right. Look at my icon. That's not right. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> as I was screaming when Quetzal got the kill. <laughs> Oh my lord. Th those two kills from Quetzal were just I meant we I managed to get them on on uh on video. Oh, yeah. But Definitely. unfortunately Twitch isn't allowing us to clip right now. But we can if make you clips right after once Twitch comes back, don't worry. Yeah, we can. We can clip right after. So RT is now going for statue trophy. Hmm. Looks like they might make some holes for some impact tricks. Across into bedroom. What is L Rocket is getting ready to impact trick? That's a lot of ammo used up. Definitely. Let's see, where are they going? Okay, so it looks like GMU has chosen to go for two of the windows right outside site, one in bedroom, one. Connector and Redding's gonna take down Blue Guard. With the Blackbeard. Yep. Tech shield. No damage done. Does he still have both shields? I believe so. Yep. Both healthy. Yep. All set up. Let's go. Bird could have at least taken down one of them, but I think he got caught off guard from the window. Mm -hmm. Possibly wasn't sure whether or not he could get shot from there. But. Is gonna be waiting for it. Oh, the first grenade gets deleted by the Eager ADS. They're ready for the impact tricks. Oh, a okay, K trick going down instead. My but... is on. Hmm. Big like Turtle is trying to get this. The turtle's Wait. aware of the holes right below him, just in case. I don't think there's anybody going to be down there, but. And Ooh. the impact trick gets, gets the first one. one. I believe Rocket still has one more. He does. One more Electro Claw and the Impact Grenade. Bobo Jai is the one playing over here. And Rocket is going to be able to get the second one, and that's going to be it for. That's it for Turtle with his Exothermite Charges. No more Thermite Charges. Oh boy. Looks like Twitch itself is now having trouble hit, receiving our video at the moment, and Rocket's gonna take down Turtle. Just completely ending the day for Turtle was Bohoja refrags onto Shy, and Quetzal quickly picks up Redding. It's a 3v3. Still very even. Rocket almost getting his head taken off by Road. Multiple angles held, and Bohoja's still downstairs looking for the visual. That's all in, in the in China room. All oh no, Quetzal! That was a wide angle. Oh, and Rocket is gonna hit one bullet 
One slug, and then finally come around the corner and take down Ponut. 3v2. Rocket is also so low from that fight. Battle Hover is coming back. Statuary. Bahoja takes out. What? Bahoja oh. takes out Mentality and Road takes down Quetzal and Rocket by holding the statue? Oh, oh he turned nice around. 180. Got that one on stream. That's for you, GMU. Clip that after the stream if it works. Oh no. I, I think, think I think back people are coming through again. I are think. they? Are they? I yeah. don't <laughs> Twitch, please. Let me, let me check it. Maybe we were losing frames earlier because of Twitch? It is back. Twitch is now back. Okay, Twitch is fully back. We're getting clips again. Okay, that's good. Good. Anyways, going on to round four. One, two. Advantage to GMU. This might be their map at the po at this point. Two, one. Blue card opting off the dock into smoke, losing one ACOG. It's... Hmm. Looks like this is their standard push for a second floor for a GMU with the, with the same operators as the first round. Nothing different from RT besides the bulk. Mm -hmm. I would have expected them to ro to go away from the side at this point, but hmm. looks like they're choosing to keep with it um, as they don't think that it was really their strategy that was wrong, as they did manage to block off GMU from opening the main wall in the bedrooms. Uh, it just seemed mm, that they, they lost did. a lot of gunfights, and that's what lost what you know lost them the round. It, it looks like it. Yeah. His rocket definitely did his job denying the two ex exothermic charges. It was a good job. Rocket did a good job there. The strategy in of itself worked, but um, GMU side plan managed to <clears throat> the collapse on the site. Given the advantage, they managed to plan, and then the RAT were forced to push instead of having to wait. Running, having some fun punching holes on the castle, on the bathroom. I think Mentality is ready for the Blitz to come through, as Shy is also watching that way. For it. Does have a rotate. Mm. Rotate away. Oh, he's watching, looking away as the Blitz makes it into the bedroom. I'm not going to take some damage here. As I think they're just going to try and leave the... Leave opening up the wall as their last uh, ditch effort while they prep other ways to enter site. I honestly Most feel like likely. Mentality could have rotated in and taken them down by now. There, There is a castle wall in the bathroom facing the bedroom, I believe. Um, I think it was taken down. Yep, and Mentality is going to see that smoke mm -hmm. and going to have to face off against... Oh, Wetzel's gonna go ahead Wetzel. and take down Bohoja, freeing him up to come around and flank. Well, Mentality is going to try and hold down Space Place against Redding. Oh, Rocket's here to back him up in Astronomy. Just in case. They do have the, the advantage. Turtle's also here. Blast the Diffuser. And Mentality gets a shot on him. Diffuser is dropped in bathroom. Redding takes down Blue Card. And Shy takes down Redding. Trading off. 4v2 at the moment. Looking good. The road is at the last legs here. Just one shot will take him down. Shy is going to shoot off at towards him. And Rocket with the slugs takes him down. Down to just Pona. Pona is going to take some shots from Shy. And Quetzal will end his life. Winning round four for RIT. Quetzal finding Bahoja early in kitchen. And in a nice diffuser drop um, caused by RIT taking down the Nomad in bathroom. Oof, oof, ugh, okay. It's okay. Is it, is it me or have these RIT GMU matches just turned into like just slugfests where they just take turns punching each other? Hmm. 
It was like, hmm. it was like beginning of, be, at the beginning, it seemed, uh, at the beginning of the season, it seemed like RIT was, I don't know, a little bit better at taking rounds from GMU. But now it seems to have turned around a little bit and it's just RIT managing to pull people off. Well, RIT and GMU did have a pretty close fight at the Natani Invitational yesterday. Yesterday? Two days ago? Yesterday, yes. Huh. Full overtime match after 1-1. And yes. the last map, I believe, was on Villa, too. Nice. Pushing into round 5. We are near the switch. We're not there yet. Instead, we are getting ready for... Maybe RET to take this as they are back in Aviator Games Room. Last time they were here, they managed to win. Do you think they're going to be able to reproduce that same success? Poss possibly? Definitely possibly. I'm just still surprised that they're not opting for a mirror. I... Okay, so I've heard, I've heard this... Um, this comment from uh, Elise PSU's uh, captain that if you if you don't plan for not using Mira, then you're not really planning anything at all. And that's that's very very badly paraphrased. That's ex that's like very bad paraphrase. It's just that Mira is like usually banned, so yeah, you do practice without Mira. But when she's available, you could use her. But of course, there are new newer operators that are definitely replaceable. And there are impact, impact tricks available for this wall too, from study. Rocket holding a tight angle from vault into study door. I'm just confused as to why Bohoja hasn't opened up any holes yet and Quetzal's gonna get taken down by Redding and that's gonna be the roam game gone. Bohoja's just not using the breaching well, torch at all. Vault tanks on breaching torch, gotta do something about it. That thermite charge might get impact tricked, and yes, it will impact be. tricked, and Road takes down Shy in 90. Now attackers have control of that. Two man advantage for GMU, and the second exothermic charge also is gone from blue card. Well, it's time for Pohoja to shine if he would use Pull the this torch. That is if only. Pona is going to take down Mentality, Rocket is going to take down Turtle 2v4, and Pona is going to come in for the refrag, and they have to control the foul. It's down to just Blue Card. Blue Card is going to take down Pona. Here, the fuse go down. Looks at the whole Bohoja made. Oh, Bohoja! Come oh, on! Bohoja, that's your hole! This is... Oh, my God. I think he's going to get shot from behind Jimmy now here. now knows where... Are where blue card is, and Road actually might just find him sneaking backwards. Road takes down blue card, takes round five for GMU before the round the slight switch. I, I can't believe we got teased by Bahoja, only for Bahoja to then get shot through his own hole. Hmm. I he could have taken down blue card much earlier if he had used his torch much earlier and you know that would have probably prevented the <laughs> the two impact uh tricks most likely it would have zoned off blue card a little bit further away from the study wall i <sighs> i'm a little upset at the possibilities that we're not honestly There's like a whole strategy they could have used there, but I guess, I don't know. Uh, at the same time, uh, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Same. Anyway, Redding sticking to the clash. Not a bait, it's a real clash. Real clash. And they are holding games Redding. in the aviator. Redding really likes his shields. I'll say that much. Enough impacts from the side of GMU to be able to do the same impact trick. As long as Redding brought his own set of impact nades. Did he? Or did he bring barbed wire? We he brought barbed. The only set of impact nades in the hands of Conut. I don't think they're really going to be going for any of the uh, 
no impact, impact tricks. tricks. Uh, especially since nobody brought the appropriate weapon to open that up, except maybe Rhodes Deagle, but I don't think he's gonna be using up that many bullets to prep it. Unless the Hoja brought a bailiff. Take your time. You mm -hmm. got this. Okay, there we go. Nice. Uh, this place. Nice place. I think that's gonna be a little bit easy to find. And he agrees. Uh, he's gonna find something else. And they're gonna find Red Ink as Blue Card is going to take some shots at him and take a little bit of damage from. The, the red, was it Redding? No, he's ready for the, it. Redding's taser. Yep. Are, are trying to find somebody to shoot. Not gonna find anyone just yet. Are they droning across first floor and astronomy? Slowly closing in onto his sight vision wise. Finds his drone but misses. Yeah, but Ho just opening it up with the bailiff. Oh, Redding's gonna take some damage from a grenade and gonna have to back off. Load with that's a Christmas skin. Hmm. Off season, but still works. Oh. Oh, and unfortunately, Turtle gets the headshot instead on Blue Card. The both staring at each other for a full second there. An awkward interaction. It's like you see someone at the same height, like at the same head level on your cursor, and you hesitate and you cost your life. Oh, they're looking to see anyone from 90 corner. Exercise! Two minutes gone. What is RAT? They should be... Okay, they're very close to collapsing on site, but at the same time, it looks like Rocket is just not... Uh, is just fighting with uh, Redding instead. Oh, that was the opportunity to shoot properly. Hmm... That's all utility's gone from Sophia regarding flashes. And... Now it's up to Shite's breaching round. For any soft destruction. Or the Maverick torches. Yeah. That's two entire players dedicated Ready? to just getting this, uh, Sophia. Oh, Rocket's not having a fun time. RT seems unsure of what they want to do here. Oh, they're running out of time. They have 20 seconds left. Mentelli just sees a whiff of Maestro as Pona takes on Shy. Quetzal quickly takes on Turtle. And it's a 3v4. 15 seconds to go. Road takes down Quetzal. Oh, it's, down it's down to mentality. It's down to mentality. It's up to mentality. And Bohoja takes the final kill onto mentality. Jimmy taking round six. I believe it's a four two. The flank kills are becoming very obvious at this point. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie, because I'm being able to just predict where yeah. it's gonna happen. I just like. Swap over. Hmm. Maybe Jimmy has adapted to RIT coming into sight, rushing to sight like late in the round. They have adapted and maybe they're showing it during their defense on Villa. That's all on this renowned glass and blue card and Monty. Hmm. I'm I'm still trying to think of what RIT going wrong here. And honestly, I feel like they dabbled a lot there. They made good progress on taking control of the second floor, but in the end, um one of their the players clash the clash was too distracting. Yeah, yeah. They didn't seem to have like a full plan for the clash and that seemed to throw them off just a bit. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I was expecting Sophia to back off after a couple, you know, like, interactions, but Sophia kept on pushing for it, possibly holding Redding down there. If he had somebody to back him up as he was shooting the concussions at the Clash, it would have made sense, but no, he was left alone down there with not much else. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a little bit puzzling, but, you know, it, it's a habit. The 
Yeah. But who's just taking time to make those holes at the bailiff? For an impact truck. And rolled with the camera placements going down. No, you shoot out the floor from under the bed and then you shoot. God. Road. Oh boy. Shoot it. Please shoot it. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. No, this is just. Shoot the floor. You know, you need to go below in the laundry and then shoot the floor and then toss it up through the floor hole you made. You space, place. Up and running. I don't think you can see much from there. Ooh, I think misplaced camera and astronomy. And blue card looking to push through study, flashing the other side of second floor in this villa. Doing a good job here of droning out to see if they can just push in easily. Looks like Shy is going to go ahead and push down into 90, knowing that it's safe and trusting that his team has his back on covering any other angles. Gonna go ahead and do a little bit of pre fire, try to see if they can find anyone as Quetzal is going to lead the charge into bedroom. Not gonna find anyone just yet. And instead, Bohoja is going to hear shots from the hallway and back and thrown down. Gukar taking some slight damage from the goo mines that he's been stepping on as he walks in. And Oh walking. my god, Rocket, Ooh. no! Did you just hit Blue Card? He did just hit Blue Card as Blue Card uh, needed to take out a goo mine as well. It's gonna be almost half of the Monty's health gone. And that's gonna that's be even more. A grenade. Half of our health blinking. Also looking to... Oh, oh, oh my god. Blue card Sorry. destroyed by impact grenade as Bohoja takes on mentality. This is looking more and more like GMU is going to take this round because it's a 3v5 at the moment. And RIT would need some pretty serious frags here. And as I'm saying Rockets that, what? Sight. That wasn't a headshot? Headshot on road. Redding takes down Shy. Rocket needs to get a frag here. That's the wrong gun. That's a gun. Oh, Bohoja just slowly reloading his ult at 25. And... I see Ella. Redding takes down both Rocket and Quetzal. We're going to see that on the replay just in a second. And we're going to head down into match point for GMU and Villa. Gets glass with the last couple shots. Predicted that... Blaz was going to be around the corner and just shot through the smoke to try and predict where he was going to be, which is a good move there. That's a, that's a very good guess, especially, but also very ballsy, just looking down into a Glaz's sight lines. Definitely confident in his aim, first of all, to do that. And I mean, the, the KD tells a, a whole story already. <laughs> Overall... Road is just carrying GMU here at this point. Just not dying Redding, that often. Definitely. And Redding as well. They're, they're, they're doing a good job. Redding's been at least trading one person off the board. Round to round to round, and it's 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 showing uh, in the efforts of uh, MU. Oh, it's moving in to match point. One more round for Jimmy to take this map. We're going down We're into down in kitchen. kitchen. Hmm. Let's not forget that uh, GMU ran it back from two, and RAT has the possibility of doing that. They just need to get definitely likely. They can they can pull it off. They're confident. They're str they're they've been performing well in the league. It's definitely possible. It looks like Redding's holding astronomy with Wahoja. Yeah, they're actually sealing off any doors into a uh, space place lately. Looks like whatever um, RIT was holding from last um, when they were defending the kitchen on the first round. A little bit, but they were less castle um, 
scores on the on astronomy itself. Mm -hmm. Similar, yet different. Hmm. If that makes sense. I wonder any, no, how sorry. that could be. <laughs> God. All right. Pona holding astronomy stairs. Blue card possibly droning out Pona as they push in. Shy having someone drone for him right in front into 90 corner. Where is Redding? Oh, oh. Redding is not spotted. Is he not? I'm. They did not drone him out. Shy does not know where he is. Well, the rest of our IT team is trying to make a push onto the kitchen. Rocket is going to go ahead and just pick up his drone instead of. Redding has not been droned. This could be an easy flank for Redding onto our IT. Looking at the Wait. wrong angle. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Shut. Redding has to have heard this. He's not even crouching. He hears Redding? the running. Redding is now activated. But mentality is now looking at angle into 90 corner. Redding coming. Redding. No, looking. not yet. He's oh. slowly encroaching. 70 seconds left, and RIT is taking like some he's, pulls above. He's really taking his time to wait for the flank. Mentality's gonna get the first kill of the round, taking down Pona. A little bit decisive there. And Redding does get Finally. Quetzal. Nobody now droned RIT where he was. Where, now where, where Redding is, he should be being pushed back. Rotating down to main stairs. Blue cars are looking for kills from above, but the site's in kitchen. It's a floor below. Road's just gonna casually walk away from that uh, grenade. And Redding's gonna punch a Claymore like it's nothing. Indeed. Carlo looking at a long angle and Vahoja rotating through barrels. It's a 4v4. Seconds left. And right. Sally on the same floor as the site looking into kitchen. C4 goes off. The rocket tries to get. Shy takes on Bohoja. Bro takes on Blue Card. Redding takes on Mentality. The diffuser is down in the front of Kitchen. And I think. No, it's up to Zofia with five seconds. Jimmy has it. Rocket needs to flank in Two. one second. It's over. One. And Jimmy takes round eight and takes the map. GG for both sides. Both sides are going to tie tonight. And it's that's going to be it for them. Villa goes to George Mason University. Roboy and Redding showing that they can carry GMU through Villa. Double digits for both players. It, it they just they just popped off. They just went off yeah. that game. There's they went off. there's nothing else I can say there. Jim, you took Villa very decisively, 2-6. That's a much closer mm -hmm. score. You have to wonder if RIT got just a little bit tired of uh, of Clubhouse having to go 7-5. That also could be likely, and they already played Villa at the Invitational, so a little bit of repeat of maps. Maybe they should have taken a little bit more... They should have learned a little bit more about what strats Jim you typically uses in the in the matches during the Nittany. But then again, it's literally been like uh what a couple days. Yeah, it's been two days. I don't yeah, think they've had enough days. they haven't had enough time to digest that information and it Yeah. Tied once again. Jim you R A T. Well, that's gonna be it for us here at the stream tonight. Um we do have one announcement. Well, two Three? Three? Three. Do we? Three. We have um, the Summer League signups have opened up. It's pinned on our Twitter. That's one. Um, two, the CA staff members will be at PAX East if you want to see us. Uh, I believe it's going to be me. I, me too. Yep, Calvrix. Um, and finally, uh, we do have the new CA website up. It is only information that we don't have... Um, all the functionality we want built into it yet, but uh, if you want to refer our league to people, you can use it. It's actually in one of our Twitch panels right underneath 
uh, right here. You click it, it'll take it you, you straight there, and uh, you can uh, show people where you've been playing all this time. Anything else? Good. I think that's good for announcements. That's what we have. And I believe we have more streams coming up this week. Uh, they're not 100% confirmed yet, but we do know that Thursday, 10 p.m. will be the PSU... No. I'm double-checking. I'm double-checking. Hey, double-check, uh, give, double give me a second. Schedules. Uh, yes, it's going to be PSU-ASU uh, this Thursday, mm -hmm. 10 p.m. Uh, we're going to have, uh, I believe, a fire... And I haven't decided on who the other caster is. It's going to be down yep. to whether or not I like them or not. Oh, all right. <laughs> Got to clip that one. No. All right. No, I'm just cutting it off here. <laughs> Adios.